This is like super duper unsafe. People were tortured and killed here. There are weird noises coming from over there. Whoa, check this out. Supposedly people have become possessed before. It's a baby. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are in Penang, Malaysia. I'm going to take you guys to a very haunted abandoned school. And this is likely one of the creepiest places we have visited on Amy's Crypt. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we've actually got a little bit of a walk ahead of us before we get to this abandoned school. And we actually visited it today. It's extremely creepy and dangerous. So I don't actually know that we're going to be able to get inside it, but I still want to show it to you. So right now I'm going to roll some daytime clips that we took earlier today. So I'm sure that you guys see what I mean about this place. It is insane, but it has the best ghost stories to go with it. So I need to take you guys there. Before we do though, on my walk to the Haunted Abandoned School is actually a place of interest where supposedly people have become possessed before. So I'm gonna quickly show you that to you as well on the way. All right guys, just behind me here is the Dewan Shri Penang. And this is a theater. It actually looks like they have a big function going on at the moment, which is kind of cool. But I did pull up some spooky stories on this one on the internet. So I found out that there were a couple of cases of actors on stage in the theatre actually becoming possessed or taken over by something that it just left them having no idea what they were doing, but they were doing the weirdest things. So the first story, supposedly a dancer got taken over and kind of bullied and yelled at all of his fellow dancers to continue dancing and not be able to stop. They're also scared that they couldn't stop. Then he led them all into the basement area under the stage. From there, things kind of get creepier because another girl was taken over and she was in this full on trance like state, was yelling at people just to leave her alone and get away from her. And no one really knows why this happens. There's no other stories of hauntings or ghostly legends surrounding this place but I did find that one story so I thought I'd point it out on the way over to the school because it's a bit weird. Alright guys so we've been walking for quite a while <laughs> might be why I'm a little bit sweaty now. We've just come to a lovely looking cemetery this place is really moody and atmospheric so I want to take you guys in here but I'm going to go to the school first that's why we're here. This place is like right next door to the school though, so we'll check out the school, see how we go there and hopefully we can stop off here on the way back and I can show you around it a bit. Alright guys, we just got to the school. It is behind me and it is the creepiest looking thing at night. We do have a busy road running right along us so you might hear a lot of cars. But I do just want to show you the structure. We're going to go around it and light it up with the torch so you can have a really good look at it. So when we explored initially today, this is what we thought we were going to have to crawl into. And it is so super overgrown in there. It's, it's actually nuts. I might have another way in, but we need to go around and take a better look to see if we can actually even get through there and access it. This place is very dense and overgrown and I have no idea what kind of animals are dwelling in there. I've seen a few bats going in and out already, so. It's freaky. 
Okay guys, before we attempt to venture into this place, which is known as the Shi Chung Branch School, I wanted to give you a little bit of background info on what makes this place so scary. It is reportedly one of the most haunted places in Penang. So haunted in fact that people have claimed to feel strange sensations just when driving past this place. And it sure is a creepy sight, so I can't say I blame them. Now all of the hauntings are said to stem from this place's involvement during World War II. So before the, the war, it was run as a school, but then when the Japanese took occupation here, they overtook the school as well. And it functioned as a sort of administration building. Now it is said that a lot of people were tortured and killed here. And it is their souls that continue to haunt it, as well as some Japanese soldiers. Now some people who have actually entered the building have reportedly been so overcome by negative sensations that they've just had to leave immediately. So we're gonna venture in, we're gonna try a bit of paranormal investigating. I mean, hopefully we can get inside. This place is massively overgrown and it's literally falling to pieces. You would have seen it just before. So, I mean, we gotta give it a shot while we're here. Sorry about all the banging as well. We've got a construction site over here and hotels everywhere. This place, I mean, you can see the abandoned school just in the middle of this big bare area, which is now run as like a car park during the day. But we have all these high rise hotels and all this kind of crazy stuff going on around it. So um, this place must be historically listed or something to have survived this long because it's a poor condition and it's a little bit of an eyesore. Though I personally find places like this beautiful. So besides that little broken bit at the back that I showed you earlier, this actually is a front gate in the fence and it looks like it's unlocked. I'm gonna try and open it and this looks like the most, well, least vegetated spot overgrown. So probably the safest to venture into. That was smooth as butter. <laughs> Okay, so we're kind of in, like you can see how overgrown this is, the grass here. And I've already seen one animal on the floor, it's a frog. I don't know if that's a good sign, like maybe if there was a snake around, the frog wouldn't exist. Or maybe there's snakes around because there are frogs here, so I don't know. I'm just gonna do the stomp method for a little bit before I go in. I really don't want to step on the frog. growing grass. One of the reasons being is uh, I, I grew up in Australia. I don't know if this is true, so take it with a grain of salt, but I told that snakes actually sense vibrations and they're always more scared of you than we are of them. So if you make loud noises coming towards them, they usually scurry off before you get to them. So. This is like super duper unsafe. This, I don't know what the f that was holding up. Um, the roof is like, actually maybe it's from the roof. But everything has fallen to pieces here. It looks like it's been burnt out a few times as well. Honestly, I, I don't feel like I can go any further in here. This place is that messed up I can't see the floor is like uneven and there's just plants everywhere plants stink as well okay okay guys been as we're in here 
I'm gonna do a spirit box. I uh, just wanna note there is a lot of traffic driving past us outside every now and then, so there might be a bit of external noises. That's fine, because it's gonna be loud. I'm gonna reach out in both uh, English and Malay. I'm not sure what the spirits who haunt this place, what language they would speak, it might even be Japanese. So keep your ears peeled for any words or phrases that you hear come through this. Hello, Namasaya Amy. Hello, my name is Amy. Silla Burka Cup Dungan Saya. Please talk to me. Kanapa Awak Masi Disini, why are you still here? I just heard a noise behind me, but I'm going to assume it's bat or something falling from the roof like leaves. Sudo Barapa Lama Kamu Barada Disini. How long have you been here? Oleka anda memberi kame tanda yang anda ada di sini. Can you give us a sign you are here? Mangapa under Tirak Suka Palawat. Why don't you like visitors? Heard a weird noise next to us. Boleka anda membuat boni antuk kami. Can you make a noise for us? weird noises coming from over there. I don't know if I should stop this or just keep going. Apanama Awak. What is your name?
I wish I got some Japanese translations before I came here. Konnichiwa! Hello? That's all I know of Jesus. <laughs> Apaka Tempat Ini Serpeti Sekola. What was this place like as a school? How long have you been here? Boleka under Mambere Kama Tanda Young Anda Ara Disini. Can you give us a sign you are here? It's so creepy when the wind blows through because all of the leaves around me blow. It's like a cold chill there. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. So I don't know if it's just that breeze that's cold, but I just got mad cold chills. Oh, this place is creepy. So I didn't get uh, voices that I heard in the moment through then. I'll definitely be replaying it back and a lot of the time I pick up words or phrases that I missed in the moment. If you guys heard any in any language, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear about them. So I just want to show you guys basically what I can see. So this is just part of the overgrown vegetation in here. Then we have this massive wooden beam, which looks like it's rotting and just like digging into the ground. And it's just resting on this other support beam up here. This looks like some kind of grand hall. Like I don't feel like there's a, a floor above me until more higher up. This school would have been so cool when it was, you know, fully functioning, I guess. It's, uh, what, one, two, at least three stories high. It's quite a large building. And I wish that we could go to the back rooms, but this is just too much overgrowth. All of this stuff. I can maybe zoom in this one. Condense my torch light a bit. It looks super, super creepy back there. And I wish I had some better gear just to go in and just feel safer about going in. These upper floors are equally as creepy. And they're just, I don't even know how you would get up there. I'm not sure where the stairs should have been, though there's not a lot of floor left. I don't know if my camera picks that up, but yeah, there's a lot of bats in here as well in that back area. What's cool is a lot of the windows um, higher up are still surviving so people mustn't come and vandalise. Like this place has no graffiti, no rocks thrown at it. People must just, I don't know, actually show it respect, which is cool. Alright, that's pretty much it guys. There's a massive snail here. We could have stepped on that guy. Oh, I'm so happy that we didn't. Have it's you ever huge. had a snail on Amy's script? I think we had a slug at Pendle Hill. Yeah, we had a slug. Oh man, Ooh, this guy's <laughs> this guy's lucky. We nearly stood on him. Yeah, make sure I don't stand on him when we leave. All right, where's the snail? Because I don't want to kill him. Oh, isn't that cute? It's got a massive shell. He's so big. All right, I'm gonna leave him be. Let's get out of here. All right, let's lock up. So that's like up so we don't get hooligans <laughs> breaking in and causing trouble. But like us. Alright guys, so that's the school done. Unfortunately there's not much more that we can do there. It's not really accessible, it's so dangerous and it's so very overgrown. Plus it's loud from all the traffic here, so the spirit box 
is kind of like our best um, investigation method there. But we are going to head to the cemetery to have a look around. The place looks awesome and I really want to check it out just for myself. So I may as well show you guys around. It's going to be fun. Alright guys, so we just made it into the cemetery. It is a little bit loud here too because that same road runs right past this place. But it looks gorgeous. The graves here are just beautiful and then it has all of these eerie trees lined up down the footpath here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a walk around. I'm going to put the Ghost Tube app on. It's available to download for free on both Apple and Android. So if you want to check it out for yourself, definitely download it. We're going to just walk around and explore some of the graves here and just check it out while that's running. All right, guys, I'm pressing record now on the Ghost Tube session. This is inside the random cemetery next to our abandoned haunted school here in Penang. I don't actually have any history or anything uh, to share with you guys from here, unfortunately. We just noticed it today and it looks really beautiful, so we wanted to show you. Okay, so this sounds like an English name. William Shepherd here. And it says sacred on it, so... These are beautiful graves and there's frangipanis on the floor, so the trees are kind of nice here too. Yeah, William Jeffcott Knight of Prince of Wales Island. Maybe ask out for a William. William, are you here? If there's any spirits here, can you come close? I'm guessing this is like a Christian burial ground. Yeah, this is Anne over here. Wife of Reverend C. Mead. That's interesting. Are there any spirits here that want to come and say hello? Come close to the light in my hand. Isn't William as well? It would be creepy if William came up on Ghost Tube. Yeah, William, are you here? Can you come and let me know that you're here? some tapping beside me there are frogs in here though we seen them when we walked in so it could have been something like that Ooh, some of these headstones back here are creepy this one, what's this one's deal with this grass border don't step in it Gregory Lucas we have here John K Watson the noise back here. Let's go towards the noise. Edward? James? Oh, Charles? Mr. Bates? The cemetery is actually pretty cool. I'm really glad that we came here. Definitely been in the Oh, I just seen the tiniest frog. Oh no, it's a lizard. Can you see him? Right there? Yeah, I got him. Oh, it's so cute. All right guys, so I've cut the ghost tube session. We're still gonna keep going around and exploring though. This is like, some of these graves look really nice. I love 
this one? Marianne. Oh, that's a kid's one, I think. Is it? Seven months. It's a baby. Commanding the troops. This one has a um, school dedication to it. Pen founder of Penang Free School. That's awesome. That's not the school we were at, is it? No, 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 no. This is a different school. It might be one that replaced that school. Charles Shaw Vaughan. That's another one. Aged five months and two days. That is sad. Let me find a date on one of these. Alfred John Leslie Melville. Hmm. Date. Can you see one? Mm -mm. 1836. Uh, 18, or is it 1838? 1838. So the cemetery is quite old, or at least some of them are. All right guys, so I think we're done here in the cemetery. I really, really hope that you liked exploring it because I always love visiting the cemeteries uh, from all around the world and this one was quite pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to do a little bit more reading on this haunted place or others that I visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.